Hi beautiful friends, my name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. First and foremost, I want to apologize if the lighting in this video is a little bit off. The picture lights that I used to use in the past kicked the bucket quite a while ago and I have not yet had an opportunity to replace them and so I rely entirely on natural light, overhead lighting, which is never recommended, and the small amount of light that my ring light puts out. And unfortunately today is a very gray, overcasty type of day so natural light is not doing much for me. I'm going to try to fix it as much as I can in editing so I apologize in advance. Please bear with me. I do have some new picture lights on the way and hopefully the lighting in my videos will improve very, very soon. Now now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about why you really clicked on this video. So the holiday season is quickly approaching and if you plan on doing a lot of book shopping, whether for yourself or your friends and family, I wanted to go ahead and provide a lot of great options where you can purchase books that are probably going to be a little bit kinder on your wallet, but also might also be a little bit kinder and more sustainable for our planet. And what does that mean? That means today we are going to be talking about used books only. We're not going to be talking about where to buy new books because y'all are already very familiar with those places and those big names. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Book Depository. Y'all already know them and I'm sure that you are frequent visitors to those places, but that's not what we are going to talk about today. We are going to talk about great places where you can find used books in decent quality at great prices. So the first and perhaps the most obvious recommendation is going to be your local library. And I'm not talking about checking out books from the library that you're going to have to return at a later date. I'm talking about library sales. Many library systems or friends of the libraries have sales where they are actually selling the donations that they receive in an effort to fundraise to support library operations. You can often find books that are in pretty good condition at these sales for great prices and in addition you are also supporting your library. If your library has social media or a newsletter I would recommend going ahead and giving those a follow so that you can be updated anytime that there are sales at your local library in these areas. I have heard of a website called booksalefinder.com which would allow you to kind of search by your zip code to pull up some of these sales. I have not personally utilized that website Website, so I cannot speak to its relevance or validity or how up-to-date it is but I will try to remember to link it down below in fact all of the websites that I'm talking about today I will link down below in the description for you similarly you can also consider perusing the little free libraries in your town if you are not familiar little free libraries are little free libraries they come in all shapes and sizes they can be found just about anywhere such as maybe in front of a school on the lawn of a personal home on a street corner what have you wherever city ordinances allow them to be and I believe that they are for the the most part independently owned and operated. Ideally, Little Free Libraries are a bookish exchange system meant to keep access to books open 24-7. And so if you take a book, they would like you to leave a book. So if nothing else, if you go to one of these Little Free Libraries and you don't see anything you want, you could also take this as an opportunity to leave some of the books that you may have been wanting to unhaul. And if you head to littlefreelibrary.org, you will actually have the opportunity to search by your zip code to see all of the Little Free Libraries near you. So that's a great way to check to see if there are are any near you or maybe you're visiting a new town to see if there are any in that new town that you might be able to visit while you are there. Yard and garage sales are also a great way to treasure hunt for books. These sales are often held at the home or the location that is actually purging the items and so if you are lucky enough to find a location that had a book enthusiast you might be able to get some great bookish scores and believe it or not there is actually a website that you can go to to find local garage or yard sales. It's garagesalefinder.com and it actually has a search function where say you are searching for books you can type that in the search function to find any of these sales that might contain those items. Now I believe this will only work if the people hosting the garage sale or whomever has posted the listing has actually used the description to type in what they are selling but it couldn't hurt it is worth a try and at the very least you can find a list of garage sales that you may want to hop over to maybe on a free Saturday and see if they do have any books that you might like to check out. In a similar vein you can also hit up local Goodwills or thrift shops. Oddly enough that is never something that I had ever considered before when book shopping but since finding booktube that is something that I see a lot of fellow booktubers do. Now if your town is anything like mine the thrift shops are very much lacking whether in the quantity of the thrift shops or the quality of what they are selling. I have perused my local thrift shops many times and the items are just not great and that includes books but fear not because there are actually a lot of online locations where you can score used books. My top recommendation is probably currently the most popular and most well-loved way not only to find great deals on used books but also to sell your bookish collection and that website is Pango Books. I believe that this is a fairly new app or at least it is very very new to me. I didn't discover it until this year when I heard a lot of the online bookish community talking about it but new or not it makes it very easy 
for book owners to unload their unwanted books and in turn it also makes it incredibly easy to find the secondhand books that you are looking for. So not only can you go there and search by titles but when you do type in the title and search for it you can actually narrow down and filter out those search results to help find a book that might better meet your criteria. You can narrow down the search results by things like the format of the book. Do you want it in paperback or hardback? The condition of the book. Do you really want it to be in new like new condition or are you okay with good or acceptable condition? You can also narrow it down by price and other criteria. Another great thing about this app is that it has kind of like a social media type aspect to it where you can follow your favorite booksellers and actually get notified when they post new books so that you never miss out on anything to get first dibs on some of those books if you are notified of what they are listing and so you can grab anything that is of interest to you. Pango is definitely one of my new favorite ways to shop for books online. It is definitely my preferred method of selling as well. It is a fantastic service and I highly recommend. Another similar selling app that isn't limited to books and isn't even known for books is going to be Mercari. Mercari is an online marketplace that is made up of individual sellers. It is like eBay without the auctions and it is like Craigslist without the risks. So again this app is not popular for the book selections and I personally myself typically always use it to find beauty products. I have been able to easily find and sell books on Mercari especially books that are special editions like if you're looking for fairy loot or a limo crate edition this is also a great way to go. So Mercari you can literally list and sell and find basically anything that you are looking for. You would simply open the app, type what it is that you're looking for, and then again you can further filter the search results that you receive to find a book that is likely going to meet your criteria. And also like Pango, another great thing about these websites is that you are seeing pictures of the actual book that is owned by the seller. These are not stock images, so you are going to have a better idea of what you are actually going to receive in the mail. That is definitely a concern with some of these other sites that I'm about to mention. Thriftbooks.com is also another popular and well-known site that doesn't just sell used books but it sells new books as well. Like on Pango when you are searching for a book there are plenty of options where you can narrow down the search results that you receive such as the specific edition, the format, the condition, etc. However I'm going to provide a warning here that the consistency of thrift books can be lacking. I have opted to purchase books that were in like new or very good condition. They are hardcovers that actually come to me without the dust jacket on there and I guess thrift books would consider that a like new or very good condition book if the hardcover itself is pristine but to me that is not what meets my criteria. To me if you're going to sell me a book that is like new or in very good condition it's going to have a dust jacket and the hardcover in like new to very good condition and you're really not going to know that ahead of time because this is an actual book website they are posting stock photos of the books that they are selling. They are not posting the individual copies from the sellers or wherever they're getting these books from and so again though you can filter these books and select the condition that you want them in that condition might not meet your definition of that condition. I will say though that their customer service is excellent and any time that I have contacted them with an issue where I have received a book that didn't really meet the criteria that they were selling it as, they've always been very accommodating and they have always refunded me without even requesting the book be sent back to them. So in that regard you can't go wrong. There really is very little risk. You may get a book in a condition that you don't necessarily accept but you can always send it back to them for a refund or just get a refund straight out. So I will definitely say that about thrift books. If you are interested in purchasing something from them, you really do so with the confidence that you will get taken care of either way. Along the same lines as thrift books, you have abebooks.com and betterworldbooks.com. These are also websites that sell both new and used books. They have the same type of searching functions, filter, and sorting capacities where you can find books that will hopefully meet the criteria that you are looking for. I have used all of these websites on some occasion, especially if I was looking for a very specific edition of a book that might be harder to find, just to see if I would be able to locate it and so I wanted to go ahead and mention those here because they are very great resources. Again you do have a similar situation where you are going to be seeing stock photos and you're not quite clear on exactly what you are going to be receiving and whether it's going to meet your own definition of excellent like new new condition. However these are definitely worth a shot if you haven't been able to find the books that you're looking for elsewhere. Now there are also some of these big named booksellers both online and in person that do give you the option to purchase secondhand books in their store or online. For example, Second and Charles and Half Priced Books are probably the two bigger names with these options. These stores sell new books as well. However, they have a buyback system where you can go take your unwanted books. They will look over your books, they will assign a value to them, and then they will give you a total amount that they will pay you for the books and they can give you it in cash or store credit. Typically store credit is more because they want you to go ahead and take that money and put it right back into their store, but you can also typically get cash as well. And of course these booksellers will then take the books that you brought in and then continue to sell them in their store and it's a cyclical cycle which is fantastic. It puts these books into hands of people that will probably love them and it keeps them 
out of the landfill. Now, of course, Second and Charles and Half Price Books are chains that can typically be found nationally, but you can also typically find these stores local to you. There are definitely bigger names that you will probably know, like Powell's in Portland, Oregon, or The Strand in New York, but you can maybe find stores like this that are not chains that are local to you, and a quick Google search might turn that up. So definitely recommend a store that has a buyback system that does sell both new and used books. It's a great way, again, to both unload the books that you don't want and find great books in good condition for a good price. And let's go ahead and talk about Amazon. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to talk about Amazon and I'm not going to talk about Amazon in the context of new books, but many people don't know that you can actually find used books on Amazon as well. A lot of these books might be being sold by smaller businesses that you can support and some of them may be fulfilled by Amazon, some of them may not, which will still allow you to use the service of Amazon if you want to without purchasing new books. So if you are on your phone and you go to the Amazon app and you type in the book that you were looking for and click on it, select the format that you are interested in, scroll down and it will say other sellers on on Amazon. And when you click on that, it will pull up all of the places where this book is being sold on Amazon. You can then filter it by used and the type of condition that you are looking for. And then it will pull up only the used books so that you are not purchasing new. Now that is the mobile way only. It is different if you are actually on a computer. I believe if you are on a computer and you go to Amazon, type in the book and bring it up, all of the formats that it's available in will be listed. And then directly under the format, you will be able to see the option to select new or used. But whether you're using it on the mobile or on the computer, there is a way to locate these books in used condition on Amazon. And again, this is a great way to find used books from a service that you might already be using and you don't have to go out of your way to use. So this is something that I myself use frequently if I can't find the books elsewhere, if I can't find them on Pango, if I can't find them on Thrift Books, if I can't find them on Mercari or what have you, I might use this used book function on Amazon to find this book, hopefully in a great condition at a good price. So I wanted to go ahead and bring it up here because this is not necessarily something a lot of people know of or they don't necessarily think about that when they are on Amazon. They are automatically pulling up the item that they are interested in and then they see exactly what's available new being fulfilled from Amazon and they don't look further into the used products. And the last resource I wanted to go ahead and mention is Facebook. I'm not talking about the Facebook marketplace, although I am sure that there are also great books being sold on there as well. I'm actually talking about Facebook groups. There are a lot of bookish buy sell trades on Facebook where you can find a lot of books at great prices from again individual sellers who are trying to unhaul some of the books that they no longer want. I find that this is an excellent option especially for special edition books. Like there is a whole group that is specifically dedicated to fairy loot buy sell trade. So maybe you are a fairy loot subscriber and you want to unhaul some of your books. This would be a great place for you to go ahead and sell your books or maybe you are not a fairy loot subscriber and there are some beautiful fairy loot editions that you have been looking for this is a great way to go onto there to maybe find some of those editions that you couldn't get elsewhere i have also seen facebook groups for like buy sell trade book of the month editions and things of that nature so if there is a specific type of book that you are looking for you are probably going to be able to find a group for that on facebook or you can just find a general bookish buy sell trade that allow you to buy and sell any type of book all right y'all that is it those are my top recommendations for places to purchase used books. Now I am in no way an expert on this and so this list is likely not going to be comprehensive. I am sure that there are plenty of options that I have overlooked that you might know of and if you do share the knowledge and point us in the direction of great places to find used books at affordable prices that might be in good condition. Please share that knowledge down below so we can all go take advantage of these wonderful resources. That's all I have for you for this video. As always if you like this video or if you just like me please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I would sure love to see you in my next video. Bye guys.